got lentils and uh, broccoli and cauliflower. Oh, actually. that looks I can, delicious. I can turn that off. What up, Holly Back community? We just chilling in the living room today on this fine Sunday in New York State with my Redskins gear on. Just get ready to go over to my folks' house and watch the Redskins in the playoffs. Todd's exciting. I am not a football fan. No, this is relaxing in here though. We're just chilling and we're like no computer, no editing, no uploading. <laughs> nah, I'm just I've been chilling here for like 30 minutes now. It feels so good. Not even 30 minutes. You've been chilling for like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh man, it feels good though. You know what? This room, we need a nice, I need a nice comfy chair. I know. It's been like on my mind more and more now. I spent so much time in that room working on computer stuff. We're in here playing around, but I'm not often just chilling because there's no TV or anything in here. I like the artwork everywhere, but, and I'm not saying we need to get a TV, but yeah, I need one, I need like my chair, that's what I need. Where would we put it? Right here? By the guitar? Yeah, maybe, maybe we put it here, right in the window. I've been wanting to get one, but it's like, it's not a necessity. Well, and we need to paint the room still. Yeah, there's so many other things that are more important. She's right about that. She's right about that. We're on our way to Richard's parents' house, Mom and Papa Luke. Mom and Papa Luke, you've dubbed her Mama Luke now. <laughs> what else am I gonna call her? I mean, I could call her Sue, but I just feel awkward calling your mom Sue. I don't know why, even though that's what she's like, introduced herself to me a long time ago as. I don't mind calling your father Rick, except for that's my name. I mean, it's his name. Lots of people can have the same name. But just that part makes me feel awkward, but not because he's your dad. He calls me Richard. Yep. That's my name. Yep. Oh, there's some some Stop accident. Oh, no. Police right up there. Hey, hey, what up, Redskin Nation? <laughs> I love those Redskins, oh, and right. today is going to be a special day. I was going to say, I know Rick Keep your fingers crossed, baby. Rick. We can win. We're going to win. We're going to win. All right. You look cool, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Have you have to order Thank you. Online. Yeah. yeah. Check us out. Yeah, Check us out. Who looks better? What jersey is this? Turn around. Brian got this. Griffin the third. RG3? RG3. He's not playing that, today. That's though. when he was playing. 80th that's... anniversary. 1932? Yep. That's when the Redskins came into the lead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you working on here? We're having ve vegetable shepherd's pie. For food today? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Very colorful. It is. Coconut. Coconut oil? Coconut oil. Got lentils and uh, broccoli and cauliflower. Oh actually. that looks I can delicious. I can turn that off. And then I got there's sweet potatoes, red skin potatoes and cottage cheese. Mm. <laughs> Looks like we came to the right place. <laughs> you pulling for the skins today? Of course. You better be. Hey, your Steelers won last night. I, I know. They got they lucky. Won, they won because the stupid guy in Cincinnati went and hit the guy in the head with the helmet. She knows. I saw it. <laughs> All right, here we go, third down. Game started. I'm nervous. All right, oh, 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 all right. Punt, Washington's getting the ball. <laughs> Sacked in the end zone. It was the entire defense. Mom's created snacks, guacamole, dark chips. Thank you for the guac, it's really good. Oh, you're welcome for the what? Guacamole. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Even though many of you probably don't care about football. Update, Redskins are now losing. But we have this going on. 
your mom's mostly vegetarian shepherd's pie and pineapple and fresh bread. And this was kind of fun. We saw this. This is a Christmas card from us from 2010. Ah, uh, this is the look of two guys when their team loses. Well, this is what we look like. The best part is, I had my boy with me we were watching the game. So that was the best part, family togetherness. Family togetherness. It's a different type of word. Yeah, togetherness. No, I'm happy with I was with you, but they, it sucks they lost. Well, it does suck. Yeah. Don't you feel like down in the pit of your stomach? Well. Yes, just for a little while, but you know, by next tomorrow, year, next year we're gonna next be year. even better. We're already talking we about the, next year. We got the experience, so we got to think positive. They don't care. These are a bunch of women, mostly. That there's a few guys that watch, but nobody likes football. I don't think. Do any of you like football? I don't think any of them like football. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we like football. You look good. Thank you. Give me a little cha 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 cha. Go Redskins! Yeah 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 yeah. Next fall, 2016. Here we come. Try to talk, counter trade. Hand the ball off to the guy. Go left. Knock the next guy on his butt. Tushy. Tushy. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> I gotta get your side. I know. Big kisses. You're giving me lots of big kisses. Yes, you are. What smells so good? What smells so good, huh? Are you eating dinner? Hmm? Oh, I must be chewy. You gonna tell Dad hi? Hey, you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Game is over and we're back home and getting ready for bed. How do you feel? I'm here with my Stephanie. It's all I could possibly hope for. No, it's not because the Redskins lost either. You guys, I have to say, right before he grabbed the camera and turned it on, he was saying that he gets too emotionally wrapped up in football. We are actually having a conversation about it and talking that maybe... He wants to potentially th thinks that he shouldn't watch football, which I'm okay with him watching football. I will say that. But I was like kind of blown away by that statement because I don't think it's going to happen. But I think that that's kind of like a really good awareness to have. It would be more difficult for me to quit watching football entirely than it would be for you drama fans to quit watching dramas. Really? I don't know about that. I mean, there's no way to actually measure if it's true or not, but I feel like it's true. Like, I've been watching football since I was four. I played ten years of organized football, middle school through high school. Where the hell? I was a quarterback. I played defense, too. I was a kicker. I used to kick extra points. I think it would probably actually be easier for me to give up dramas. And a lot of them. Right. Than you to give up football because... Like, I have memories tied to it where I was playing... For years, we used to play with my dad. My dad would work all day and then come home from work and park the car in the driveway. We would be out on the street playing because our street wasn't very busy, so it was a nice space for, because we had, whatever, yeah. lots of kids in the neighborhood that would come over and the whole field set up with the telephone poles and everything, the touchdown area, and he would walk down the driveway. He wouldn't even go in, and he would be all-time quarterback and play with us. He did that for <laughs> years, and he coached us organized football. How do you just quit all that? Those are some really good times. That just makes me happy to hear. Papa Luca's the shit. You're Papa the shit, Luke Dad. Papa Luca's the shit. I love both of you guys. Thank you so much for a wonderful dinner, Mom. I hope you're still watching this. I hope some of you didn't click off because I know you don't care about football. But if you're still with us, click the like button. I love all you guys for watching. Thank Thanks. you for supporting us. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.